Here I have a self-checking maze actually. So what students would do is they would choose the correct path on the maze by moving these arrows. These arrows are transparent. So they can move the arrows to choose their path. Once they are done, they can check to see if their path is correct. All they would have to do is click on background, choose the background color they would want to change their slide to, and then check their path. So in this case, they chose the incorrect path. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have my new slide open. I'm gonna click slide and I'm gonna click edit master. This is where I'm going to put all my objects. So first I'm gonna insert my shape. Okay, and when I do my shape, I wanna make sure that it's transparent and change the thickness of my line to whatever I want. Once I have that, I can uh, click Command or Control D and that will duplicate my shape and then I can drag it to wherever I need it to go. So I'm gonna do the same for my other visible objects. Okay, so once I have my visible objects, um, I can input my equations and then decide the correct route. Um, so once I have decided the correct route, I can now insert my invisible objects. So in order to see my invisible objects, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background color of my slide. Okay, so once I've decided on the correct route, I'm going to insert my object or my arrow to let me know the correct path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that at the outline of this object, is uh, clear okay so then it can't be seen so I'm just gonna duplicate that and put it in my correct path to show the correct path so once I have determined my correct path and I have created my arrows with the spaces that the path follows I also want to make sure that I change the fill color to white as well. So this is the starting path. I'm gonna change this fill color to white. And I'm gonna do the same with all the objects in the path. And then I have to make sure that my arrows that are supposed to be invisible, invisible are white as well. Okay, so now my maze is done. So, these objects aren't movable. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my transparent arrow. So what I can do is I can upload an image of an arrow that I want. So to do that, I'm going to just, just click insert image, search the web, and I'm gonna search for transparent arrows. Okay, here's my arrow. Now I'm gonna change the size of the arrow. Okay, so once I get my arrow to the size 
um, and position that I like. Now I can format my arrow. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click on my arrow and go to format options. And if I want to change the color of my arrow, I could just choose recolor and change it to whatever color I like. I'm just going to keep this color. I'm going to go to adjustments and change the transparency. I'm going to change it enough so that I see the arrow clearly covering my path but then I can also see through it. Once I have the transparency that I like, I can now duplicate my arrow. Once I have duplicated that, I can um, realign these arrows. To do that, I just highlight the whole section, go to Arrange, Align, Center, Arrange, Align, Middle, and then I can just move this to off to the side. Okay, so then once I have it to the side, I can choose one arrow and change its position. Okay, line it up. Okay, so now I have my transparent arrows and then my maze ready to go. And if I want to quickly check for the correct answer, once again, all I have to do is change the background and change to whatever color I like. And then I can see the correct path. So here I have this drag and drop where I have to put the um, objects in the correct order. So if I put my objects where I think they belong, I can check to see if they are correct. All I would have to do is click delete and then this will show me whether or not my answer is correct. So once again, I am going to use Edit Master, so slide Edit Master. I'm going to choose one of the slides that to edit and put my objects in this in here. Once I've done that, I can also insert my correct answer. Okay, so I have inserted my correct arrangement. So these are all the objects that I don't want the students to be able to move. I put all of them in the master slide. Then once I'm done with the objects I don't want students to move, then I'm gonna work on the main slide. So I'm just gonna find the slide that I just created. I will go to slide, apply layout, here it is. Okay, so once I have that, what I'm going to do is I am again going to insert the image of the top portion of my drag and drop. So insert, upload. So all I did was insert, cover up my master edit slide with an image um, so that the answers are not visible. Then I'm just going to add the movable objects. Okay, so once all my movable objects are arra arranged, I can input the instructions and my slide is ready. Here I have um, this activity where it's a word unscrambler. All the students have to do is unscramble this word and um, this is good for vocabulary. 
Once they are done, they can check their answer to see if it's a correct. All they do is move this object up to here and then it will reveal the correct answer. Once again, I'm going to go to slide, edit master. I'm going to choose a slide to create my slide in, delete what's already there. Okay, and insert the parts of my object that I don't want to get moved. So once I have my unmovable pieces, I can now edit my movable pieces on the main slide. So I'm gonna get out of Edit Master, find my slide. Okay, so now I'm going to create the movable pieces. For my letters, I like to insert a shape. Okay, and format my letters to the size I want. Okay, once I have that, I can duplicate it. So once I created my, ans my correct answer, I'm going to move it to where I want students to check their answer. I'm going to change the text color to match the background color. Okay, so once it's invisible, I am now going to insert another shape. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that I move this back so that this object is behind my answer. So I'm going to order, send, send backward. Okay, so now I have this to where when I move it to check my answer, it will give me the correct answer. The correct answer will appear. Now, if you want to create an assignment that self-checks one problem at a time, you can separate the answers and have students fill the boxes. So if you click here and click on the fill tool, again, it will reveal the correct answer. So I put my equations in the main, uh, in the master slide. Once I have put my equations in the master slide, I'm going to go to back to the main slide. So what I did was all I did was insert the shapes to put my answer to use as my answer boxes. What I like to do is just format one and then duplicate that. Okay, and then I'm going to blend, camouflage the answer. For this, the part that I want students to input their answer, I actually inserted a one by one table. So I go to insert, table, a one by one. Okay, move it to where I want it to go. And then format it, I can duplicate and then move. When I'm moving my table, I just have to make sure I have that cursor with the all four arrows on it so I can move it easier. So these are the different ways you can make self-checking drag and drop activities. And that's it. Thank you for watching.